that it can happen to any of us. I mean, that's what terrified me from the first movie and you know, from everything I've read and people that I know love it, was it was so stark and so real and it's true terror. You know, um, there's many subgenres of horror and we can have fun with some of them. Some of them are horror comedy. We can laugh at some of them, you know. Um, but The Strangers, was like this random act of violence. These people show up in masks. You don't even know why they're wearing these masks. Are they hiding their face? Is it part of their game that they have in their head? It's never explained, so we just never really know, right? They terrorize these people, because in the original Strangers, they could have been killed 12 times, but they purposely didn't kill them 12 times. Right. That's what I always believe, and I know a lot of people do. And then, you know, after they've had enough fun with them, they just dispense with them as if they're nothing. And then what they say at the end is next time it'll be easier and they just drive on along down the road. And that's chilling because those people actually live among us everywhere. And this could happen to you anywhere. In our milieu, we chose an Airbnb in the woods, but it could happen in an apartment in New York City. It could happen in a suburban neighborhood anywhere in the country. It could happen anywhere. And these people are out there. That's what makes this truly terrifying um, and what drew you know, me as a filmmaker to want to do it. One is that we got more money to make the movie. So as a filmmaker, um, by doing it all at once, you're able to amortize certain costs um, and you know, reuse certain locations, for example. Um, so you get to put more money on the screen and add you know, to the stuff that you're doing, make it a higher quality and make it better. Mm -hmm. So I think that's singularly your biggest benefit as a filmmaker. It's kind of like when you would shoot two films at the same time. There's just a, a benefit that more can go on the screen as opposed to having to re-prep the movie and you, so you spend a whole bunch of money there that doesn't go on the screen than other things. Um, so that's one thing that's great. Two that's great is the first time people go to make a movie, if it becomes like a success, and then there's a sequel, a year and a half passes maybe till they get on set again and they're doing that movie. Um, but their whole mindset changed. You're not in it the same way you were the, say the first time you won the Olympics or something like that. In this, we got to make all of our chapters at the same time with everybody like they were running the race in their first Olympics. Um, and so that comes across on the screen and that comes across in you know, the kumbaya attitude that everybody on the cast and crew had in putting this together. And that was really, really fun because I've done sequels afterwards sort of thing. And it wasn't that like, you know, they've done five movies in between and now they're back to this and whatever else. And, and it was really great. And I think that's one of the advantages. The hard thing is just keeping your head around it, right? Like it's a lot, it's hard if it's one movie here's your arc and to really do we get all the, the character beats that we need do we get all the story beats that we need and that's hard enough for to do in the first place when it's a giant 289 page script because it was one story it's now divided into three chapters your arc is like this right and literally you could walk in on monday morning and start with the scene over here in the arc and in the afternoon be doing a scene all the way over here, right? And then the next day flipping from here to there to here, depending on where you were and what the production requirements were on that day, locations, etc. cetera. Um, and like, is the character in the right place when you're doing that part of the movie for this, you know, deep into the large arc, but on day two of shooting, right? Because you're dictated by where you're shooting and there's scenes happening from all movies in a lot of these locations. That's the part that's really difficult. And for the actors, it's super, I mean, I, for Madeleine, I mean, I can't even, like, still can't fathom how she could go from, like, being happy Maya that's driving in the first movie, like you see in the trailer, you know, to, like, Maya in movie three, who's an entirely different person, right? And been through it, right? And do it 
in the same day, not to mention just the physicality of the change and the hair, the makeup, the wardrobe and everything else, um, you know, because putting all that stuff on takes a hot minute.